line. We, that's supposed to happen at the end of all of this, right? Yeah. It shows the love that the church family has for both of you, Shockley and Bev, the gratitude in our hearts for your faithfulness and service. We'd like to present a couple of tokens of, of our appreciation to you. And then right after this service, Shockley and Bev are going to make their way down into the hall. We're going to have a reception for them. If you can stick around for a few minutes, we'd love for you to join us and being able to show appreciation and honor where honor is due. Shockley and Bev, you've served faithfully in this church for the past 22 years. You're entering into this new chapter of your life as you're moving closer to retirement. Shockley's accepted a, an expanded role in ministry in the music ministry at Park Chapel Christian Church down in Greenfield. And that is a great privilege and honor for their congregation to be blessed as we have here. So on behalf of our church family, Shockley, we'd like to present this as a token of our appreciation to you that says celebrating your 22 years of faithful service at East 91st Street Christian Church. The scripture of Matthew 25, verse 23. And Bev, we also have a small token of appreciation flowers that we would like to give to you. We love you both. We are grateful for you and your ministry. We look forward to seeing you as you come back to visit a number of times and the times that you're not having to serve there at Park Chapel. And then Tom Alley, on behalf of our elders, is going to lead us in a word of prayer asking for the Lord's blessing to be upon Shockley and Bev. Shockley and Bev, uh, I too, on behalf of the elders and the staff and the congregation here at East 91st, I want to tell you how much we love you folks. We so much appreciate the many years of service you've given here. You truly have touched the lives of countless people along the way, and we appreciate that. And uh, our wish for you is the very best that God has in this next chapter of your life's journey. So if you will all bow with me as we pray for that. Lord, thank you so much for Shockley and Bev. Thank you for their lives, which long ago were dedicated to you and the way they have faithfully followed your calling on their lives. Lord, thank you for the way they have ministered to us for all these years and to many other people in other places. They have ministered through music, through spoken word, through words of encouragement, through pastoral care, and always demonstrating the love of Jesus Christ. Father, uh, many of us treasure friendships with this couple, and we are confident that even though distance may separate us, those friendships will endure because of our unity in you. And Lord, I do pray a special blessing on Shockley and Bev as a couple, and on their boys and their families. And now as they move toward retirement, and though not yet really retiring, we are confident that wherever you lead them, they will never cease lifting up the name of Jesus. They will never cease ministering to others. And we pray that through the leading of your Holy Spirit, you will guide their steps in all that they do. We offer up our prayers in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And once again, would you help me show appreciation? to go back to the hall for the reception. Again, we want to invite you. If you can stick around to uh, 